Instrumental in founding Ontario Centres of Excellence in 1987, Dr. Martin Walmsley had a vision for an economically prosperous and competitive Ontario. It's this vision we honour tonight with the Martin Walmsley Fellowship for Technological Entrepreneurship. This year, Ontario Centres of Excellence is proud to announce that Richard Beal from Kofovo Energy is the recipient of a two-year fellowship worth $100,000. We are also pleased to announce that Christina Mueller from Insight Nanofluidics and Ali Morby from Gatronics are also recipients of one-year Martin Walmsley Fellowships worth $50,000 each. My name is Richard Beal, CEO of Kofovo Energy, and we're building the next generation of solar technology here in Ontario. I'm Christina Müller and I'm the president of Inside Nanofluidics and I'm revolutionizing the nanotechnology field in Ontario. I'm Elias Gamorbi and I want to change the way hospitals think about mobilizing patients in Ontario. So what we've developed at Kofovo is a low-cost solar power plant technology that is optimized for use in hot high sunlight regions of the world. Whereas standard solar panels use large, low efficiency, uh, heat sensitive solar cells, we concentrate light onto very small, highly efficient, heat tolerant cells. And that makes our solar panels ideal for use in hot locations. It also makes them two to three times more efficient than standard solar panels. The overall benefit is that we're able to produce up to 60% more electricity than a standard solar system. So since arriving at the University of Ottawa, I've been able to focus on research into low-cost concentrator solar systems. And we've started to pick up a number of different funding sources, including some great support from OCE. OCE supported COFOA through the Market Readiness Program. We currently have ongoing project with them aimed at development of industrial prototype. Well, what Richard's been able to, to do is he's looked at what people have been doing around the world. And uh, he, he's taken all the best elements and then he's He's bringing in the low-cost aspect. So in South Africa, we're working with a solar power plant developer to put our first plant into that market. So we've had a lot of great industry feedback and we're working on a very interesting project in Saudi Arabia for the last several months. The Martin Wormsley Fellowship will allow me to focus 100% over the next two years on developing our product and bringing it to market. And Ontario really is an ideal place to build and grow this company. We have great access to R&D infrastructure and expertise through the university system here. And we also have the ability to leverage Ontario's solar industry and start exporting some of that expertise and capacity to the world. So imagine yourself looking at a drug, how it's attacking a cell in real time, in real life. How much more information you could get from that over looking at something that is prepared in a non-natural state. So Inside Nanofluidics has developed a technology that allows this kind of imaging on the molecular scale. I think it's the only technology that really, as a plug-and-play device, allows you to visualize things on the molecular state in a real environment and not dried or artificially prepared. It has a window in the middle that you actually look through, and it has two ports that you would flow a liquid in and a liquid out. You know, typically it's done by putting samples in an extremely unnatural state. It, it just can, it can impact so many fields from biology, chemistry, physics, that uh, it's just really exciting. Christina has demonstrated over the past two years that I've worked with her, her entrepreneurial spirit. She's a new entrepreneur, this is her first startup, but she has taken all the initiatives um, and she's very patient in learning all about entrepreneurship. You can actually see how a drug attacks a cell. You can actually see this in real time and where it does what. and So you can control what you're doing in the lab or what a pharmacist does in the lab. I mean, this is, I think this has the potential to enable really breakthrough sciences and really like things that change the world. So GateNable is unique because it's got a focus on mobility training. It's a robotic patient handling and mobility training device. And what it does is it lifts and it supports people as they're walking. Now, devices that are currently out there like patient lifts that are similar in nature, uh, they're designed as transfer devices. That means they get you up from your bed and into a wheelchair. They're really not focused on getting you walking. And it's the walking that's critical and important. That's what gets you better. So the basic process with gait enable is quite simple. So the therapist can easily wheel the device right to the patient's bedside. 
The harness is just put around the patient, you tighten the clips, tighten the harness onto the user, and then you simply press a button and lift a person up. And once they're up, the therapist just uh, hits one switch and the patient can start walking right away. Ali and his co-founder, they're truly dynamic young entrepreneurs with a passion to make an impact with their research. Since meeting with the co-founders, OCE has provided advice on how to found the company and to move the technology out of the laboratory. We've also supported this, um, the growth of the company. OCE and both Philippa have been critical to the development of this company because it's been, she's been there as a champion for us to help us get access to some of the funding. So currently, you know, we have a market readiness fund and we've also been, I've also been funded by OCE through an OBI fellowship as well. And now with the Wamsley Fellowship, it really is, is the money that we need to get our company started to get us to that next step. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate our three outstanding Martin Walmsley Fellowship recipients this year. Richard Beal, Ollie Morby, and Christina Mueller are wonderful examples of how bright young Ontarians can make a difference. Congratulations on being awarded a 2013 Martin Walmsley Fellowship. We are proud to support you.